This video is to walk you through how to run the yearbook report in WinLabs. We'll start out by going to Reports, Association, Average, and selecting Yearbook. On this screen, like with many of our other reports, you have the option of narrowing down criteria by either male, female, or both, setting up age ranges, or excluding unpaid, suspended, or deceased bowlers. For this demonstration, we'll go ahead and leave the current settings since these are the most commonly used. Here you have the option of doing one league, all leagues, or all leagues in one center, just like you do with many of our other reports. An important note for this page, if you are not running your yearbook until after the start of a new season and you have already ran start new season in WinLabs, you'll need to change your league year back to the previous season in order to pull the averages for the yearbook. Since we have not ran start new season, we won't have to worry about that with this demonstration. Also, again, if you have ran start new season, you would have to change your league year in this area as well. If you're wanting to run the yearbook for all bowlers and not just those with 21 games or more, you would change this number to one for the minimum games required and then select the season you want to run the yearbook for. This next area, this is where you can select to show your criteria on the top of the report or to exclude it from the report. This also provides the option of running the yearbook for adults only adults and youth intermixed or youth only. Here on output options, you'll notice here under stock, you have three different options, one column, two column, and three column. One column allows for the bowler ID number to also be listed as well as the bowler's name, average, and the hand used. Two and three column do not have the bowler ID listed because of space requirements. For this demonstration, we'll use one column. If you needed to change your margins, you would do so in this area, and we'll click Preview. This shows you exactly what the yearbook will look like prior to printing. Notice with the one column, here's the national ID numbers for the bowlers. Again, for two and three column printing, you won't have the ID listed. If a hand had been designated for the bowler, it would be listed here in the average column next to their average. You'll also notice that since we did bowlers with less than 21 games, there's an asterisk indicating which bowlers had less than 21 games for that average. Once you're done looking through the report to make sure all people are present, you can either click to print, or if you're sending the file off to a printer, you can export into different file options depending on what the printer requests. Once you're done, you can click close, and this completes the demonstration to, for running a yearbook in WinLabs.